Peter Kofitsis, I want to show you a very powerful exercise. It's going to take a few minutes and it's going to help you get out of that anxiety loop. You know what I'm talking about? When we're chronically stressed, we are in fight or flight mode and we can't talk our way out of it, we can't think our way out of it, we can't rationalize our way out of it. It's because our body is in a survival mode. And part of the reason why is our vagus nerve is not getting the proper circulation. So I'm gonna show you a simple exercise that helps my family, my friends, my clients, and myself get out of that fight or flight, chronic anxiety mode where you feel incapacitated, you don't feel motivated, you might feel depressed and sluggish, and you might feel even hopeless. This exercise, I've seen it time and time again, helps so many people. It comes from Stanley Rosenberg's book, Accessing the Healing Power of the Vagus Nerve. It's a very technical book, but if you have some science background, you'll get through it. Otherwise, do research on the internet. You'll also come across polyvagal theory by Stephen Porges, who um, was instrumental in where this work came from. And it's one of the best strategies that I see to help people get out of that fight or flight response. So let me show you right away. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna lie down, but I wanna show you. You're gonna interclasp your fingers and you're just gonna put them right behind your neck like that, okay? So the first couple of times you do the exercise, do it lying down. Eventually you can do it sitting up when you're comfortable doing that. So find a comfortable space, put your feet up on the table, clasp your hands, put them behind the base of your neck and just relax completely. And all you're going to do is turn your eyes without moving your head to the right, as far as comfortable. Don't go too far because that can create more stress. That could even make some people dizzy. All you're doing is looking to the right for a minimum of 30 seconds to 60 seconds. What we're looking for is a sigh, a yawn, or a deep breath. That's the sign that your vagus nerve is activated and your response system is activated because your circulation is improved. After 30 to 60 seconds, or after you sigh, you're gonna look straight up, and then you're just gonna repeat the exact same thing to the left side. Just comfortably looking as far as you can to the left. Don't overdo it, and hold that until you sigh or yawn, take a deep breath. Again, that's a sign that you have done the exercise and that it is active. And when you're done, you're gonna just slowly roll to your side and sit up because you can get lightheaded from lying there for a few minutes and it'll be counteractive to the exercise you just did. Now I have my family, friends, clients repeat this exercise sometimes five and six times until they get that sigh or that yawn or that deep breath. Just be patient with it try to relax, focus your mind on doing it, and force yourself to do it because like I said, if you're in that fight or flight mode, it's hard to get motivated. It's hard for you to eat healthier, to get yourself to exercise, to send that email, to do whatever that work is. This exercise I have found, thank God for Stanley's work and Steve Porges' work before that, to give us a strategy to help with that chronic stress with this simple exercise. Okay, try it, I hope it helps you. And until next time, I'm Peter.